it? Wash your hands first. Do you know why we need to keep our hands clean? Let knowledge click. Even though you can see them with your naked eyes, there are lots of harmful bacteria on your hands. If you don't wash your hands properly, bacteria can get into your body and cause stomach aches, diarrhea, or even make you sick. Besides stomach aches, they can lead to another problem too. This all right, huh? Professor Who? Hmm. Huh? Bacteria will stick tightly to your hands if you only use water to wash them. Instead, use soap so it can wash away all the bacteria. First, wet your hands. Second, use soap. Third, scrub thoroughly. Palms bags of hands, between fingers and under nails. Four, rinse with clean water. Fifth, dry your hands with a clean towel. Wow! I got it! Hmm. That's all for now. Stay tuned for our next exploration. <laughs> Woofoo, your nails are way too long. Time for a trim. But I just cut them last month. Your nails always grow. I'll explain why. Let knowledge click. Your nails aren't just for decoration or scratching. They also protect the tips of your fingers. Under your nail, there's a special area called the matrix, like a factory that's always working. New cells are made and push the old ones up. Together, they build your nail and push it out. That's how your nail grows longer. Even if you don't feel it, your nails grow a little every day. On average, a fingernail grows about 3 mm each month. So my nails are growing now? Hmm. Huh? Exactly. And since they keep growing, if you don't trim them often, they can get too long and cause all kinds of trouble. That's not everything. Long nails are a perfect hiding place for germs and dirt. If you don't wash your hands well, the germs can sneak into your tummy. From now on, I'll check my nails every week. Let me clip them for you. <laughs> I just save you big time. Do you know what happens if you get stung by a bee? Let knowledge click. Honeybees are social insects, which means that they live together in large, well-organized family groups. When they feel threatened, or even their hive is invaded, bees will sting the attacker to protect their hive and queen. First, the bees stick a stinger into the target skin. 
The stinger is like a tiny barbed needle that sticks firmly in the skin. Venom is gradually pumped through the stinger into the body, causing redness, swelling, and pain. When the bee stings, its stinger gets stuck and tears up part of its body, which causes its life. So, bees only sting when they really have to. So what should we do if we get stung by a bee? When a bee stings, its venomous stinger gets stuck in our skin. The first thing to do is to quickly remove the stinger. <laughs> Washing the sting thoroughly helps reduce the risk of venom spreading. After that, apply a cold compress to the sting to help reduce the pain. Ooh, wow! <laughs> if you get stung, it's best to find an adult right away for help. Ooh, wow! <laughs> What's that smell? Sorry, Bufo. I I don't know what's happening to me. <laughs> Sounds like your tummy has something to say. Oh. I'll tell you what it is. Mm. Let knowledge click. Hmm. When you eat, food goes into your tummy. Ah. There are millions of tiny helpful germs inside. They work hard to break down food, especially things like beans, green veggies, or sweet potatoes. While working, the tiny germs also make gas. It's like bubbles rising when water boils in a pot. This gas slowly builds up inside your belly. Your body is super smart. When there's too much gas, your tummy pushes it out so it doesn't get bloated or hurt. And that's when you fart. When you try to hold it in, the gas keeps building up. Your tummy gets tight. It might hurt and sometimes it just pops out. Like a balloon pumped up too much. Actually, everyone farts. Grown-ups, kids, even cats and dogs, everyone does it. It's how the body lets out extra gas to feel better. <laughs> Farting is normal, but remember to do it politely. Like going somewhere else, saying sorry if you surprise someone, and never laughing at a friend if they fart by accident. <laughs> Why does my head hurt when I eat ice cream? Oh. Have you ever experienced this like Wufu? Let knowledge click! When you eat, the food touches the roof of your mouth. An area full of blood vessels that lead up to the brain. The cold makes those blood vessels suddenly shrink. And then they quickly expand again as your mouth warms back up. This fast change tricked the brain into thinking there's pain in your head, which is called a brain freeze. So, how can we avoid brain freeze when eating ice cream? Oh! Oh! Ta-da! If I do this, my brain will stay warm and won't get that icy pain, right? <laughs> <laughs> that wouldn't help much. It's simple. When you get brain freeze, just spread your tongue against the roof of your mouth, the cold part to warm it up. Or, hmm, 
You can drink a little warm water. <laughs> and remember to eat your ice cream slowly instead of taking a big bite all at once. Discover everything around us on Wolfu Explore Channel.